This is the footwork involved here. Making Postal come to him, overreach, nice little step back, very controlled step back. All right, welcome everybody to another BDA Boxing Film Analysis. This is your host, Mr. BDA. Thank you guys for joining us. In this episode, Regis Progray, 24-0, 20 knockouts, taking on Josh Taylor, 15-0, 12 knockouts for the WBSS Final Tournament Trophy, Accolades, uh, Unified Title, whatever you want to call it. This is for the big boys, all right? These are high stakes. And both guys, like I said in the previous video, undefeated. They are confident. They have beaten good opposition it's time for them to take on each other to see who the best is and we're gonna do this a little bit differently this episode usually i like to explore one aspect of a fighter and i already got the clips ready in this one we're just gonna go to the batch and pick certain clips and and to illustrate what i'm trying to convey in terms of one fighter's strengths or, or weaknesses in this episode josh taylor's strengths one of his biggest strengths is that he is a pretty quick counter puncher and i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about here all right so let's take a look at it here Vic like, this is against victor postal by the way which i know is not a he's not like uh, progress here progress shorter quicker more upper body movement but there's some things in here that are similar one of them is that like progress postal likes to use his jab a lot and he was firing that jab a lot against Taylor. Now look at Taylor here, how he dips down. He's this is something that he likes to do. He likes to dip down, change levels, and come back with shots. Nice left hand right there. But um, there is more. First of all, he also likes to do something that I, I, I love when fighters do faint. See that? I got a whole bunch of clips here called faint, which are just, <laughs> like as you can see, there's just a lot of fainting. He also has a good jab. But like I said, I want to show you the counters because josh taylor is a power punch he counters with power and i'm going to do another episode where i'm going to talk about progress weaknesses which is that he likes to take a picture after he punches he likes to admire his work and he is there to be hit with counters so this is just okay that's a little counter there that's the other thing you can notice there that josh taylor is a south bubble he likes to switch hit a little bit there's an overhand left apparently Oh yeah, look at like again, he likes to dip down, change levels, make the taller fighter go to him, punch down so that his hands are down, and then he comes up with his overhand left, boom, what a bomb, he really loaded up on, on that shot, I'm surprised Postal didn't go down from that, Postal is a world class opponent by the way, let's take a look at that in slow motion, look at that, beautiful, really putting everything into that shot, um, but then as the fight went on, in the beginning Postal was landing a lot of jabs, he was going to the body, which is abnormal for Postal, really. But then, little by little, Taylor started to land with some of those real nice power punches. One power punch that I really like about Josh from Josh Taylor is he likes to go to the body with uppercuts, look at that. Again, he dips down, which can be predictable by the way, and he did get hit doing this a couple of times during the fight. We're gonna take a look at that in the next episode where we're talking about Taylor's weaknesses. But here he dips down, puts all his weight on, on his uh, back leg, and then he comes up with this. Ooh, and you can see Postal does a good job of putting that arm there, a little unorthodox, but he had to do it to, to block the shot. But even then, here I got another one that's called counter left. All right, so like I said, Postal was going to the body lock with that right hand, which was landing. And here Taylor switch hitting. See how he switched stances? He's in a orthodox position. Catches it and right away, boom, left hook. Snapping Postal's head back. Quick counter punch. And like I said, Progray will not have... He, he, it's in his message just to get out of there as quickly as he can. Here, is he, see, here you see Taylor now countering, not with an uppercut and not upstairs with the left hand, but downstairs with a straight left. And you can see this one went down the middle. Look at it moving Postal's body up. Oof, that could not have felt good. Okay, I got this unnamed clip here. I forgot to name it. Ah, okay, now I know why, because it doesn't really show much. Look at this. So now we can see here, he can also create himself some opportunities. This is an interesting clip. He's coming forward as a righty, dips down, tries to get a, a, a right uppercut there, misses. Look at his feet. Subtly changing again back to a southpaw while coming forward and making Postal miss, making him throw his jab, making it open up, and he comes in with a looping 
right hook, a little bit too wide, kind of a slapping shot, but it did catch Postal with his chin up, snap his head way back, or not back, but really made it turn around. And those are the shots, catchy shots, even though they're not the most hurtful, they are the ones that the judges love to see. Really creates excitement with them. Those judges, you get excited. Bunch of perfs. Here he is again, countering. Ooh, that was a good one. Dipping down from that jab. And look at this how he's with his with his right hand, he's sort of measuring and parrying the incoming jab. Dips down and he goes in with a left. Ooh, and you can see how Postal doubles over a little bit. He felt that. Again, though, it is dangerous, and we're gonna take a look at that in another video. But see how he's dipping way low and, and postal through a right hook. Could have been problems right there. Could have been problems. Big problems. Not in this one, though. Another left hand to the body. Look at how he's coming forward. See, changing angles, changing angles, slipping, slipping, and sliding, and then boom. Didn't really land it, though. Well, it kind of landed in between the arms, down the middle the plexus he's really that's the thing guys if you're a southpaw you want to make a guy miss and then throw straight shots to the plexus really because of the angle it works fantastically more people should try that Adonis Stevenson made a career out of that again another short little counter uppercut in there I'm gonna take a, a clip here named uppercut all right so that's more of an inside stuff that's the other thing on the inside he can shoot some shorter shots oh look at this beautiful move so he's changing levels a little bit, he gets hit with a jab, which he ate almost all night long. It really wasn't a good showing from him when it came to defense against the jabs. But as he's backing up, switch hits. Just switches stances, and then comes a hit. Boom, again, another little bit of a wild open hook. But it got uh, Postal and the judge's attention. We got another clip here named right hook. Again, orthodox position. Dips down, hands up open to the body which he ate some right hands all night but this time he's willing to take the punches all right people so this time nothing comes forward changes angles postal fighting down punching down boom catches a right wait a minute did he switch hit okay no no he's in the on oh, no, look he's in the left-handed position here okay all right so he dips down boom get oh and then see that right hook and then tries to land that left uppercut right down the plexus again oof and you can see postal there Ooh. Sort of breathing out saying hey didn't like that what's the matter with you what are you trying to do to me again dipping down overhand right drawing a baseball he ate a shot there as you can see way too open left right hand down i don't like i don't like to see that and prograde does the same thing by the way but anyway that's for another video boom see how postal had the the, the right glove in the correct position to block that left hand but nevertheless the punch was so hard and such was the force and the velocity of the shot that it actually bypassed that glove and landed right on the face there and you can see the people in the back clapping they're excited so were the judges what do we got here oh making see now this is the footwork involved here making postal come to him overreach nice little step back very controlled step back look at that from from taylor step back postal overreaches He's going forward with the momentum and catches this. This is what greets him. Would not want to be greeted with that. It's almost like a palm shot too. Boom. Oh, he he almost went down on that one. Good for him on for clinching. This one says right to the body. Okay, I know with see that? Those are the type of shots. This was a high tempo fight, by the way. Oh, great body work there. Anyway, I want to keep going to the to, to more of the body of the quick this one. Okay, yeah, this is the one. I, look at him. Look at Postal. Hopping forward. Trying to... that He shot a throwaway jab to distract Taylor. Taylor wasn't really buying it. Takes one step back. Takes another... Look at... He puts all his weight, Taylor, when he goes back. See that? Puts all his weight on the back leg. Postal overreaching. And this is hard to do. Or this is actually what you want to do against a taller opponent. Make him come to you. He throws the right, momentum's too much, keeps coming, starts crossing his leg, Postal does. Hands down, by the way, desperately flailing off head, and he catches a strong left hand. He actually caught Taylor, too, with a good, uh, sort of like a hook, semi-hook, overhand left, I would say. But, boom, it's Taylor that lands and right on the chin, right on the kisser. And you can see that that's stunned. Look at this, see that? 
Oh, he sort of fumbles a little bit forward and right away fumbles on the ropes. He clinches him, tries to choke him out. Ref separates them. Bell rings. That saved Postal right there. We get another counter here, apparently. Yep, see that countering of the catch and shoot, as Paul Emanuelagi loves to say. Catches the right hook, that the left uppercut passes with the right hook. Sort of cuffing him in the back, too. He, he landed a lot of cuffing shots almost behind the head sometimes. I mean, that's that's for another video as well. Uh, Taylor likes the rough, the rough stuff in there. All right, see, again, standard dips down against the jab and comes up with an overhand left hand that catches Postal straight and drops him. All night, those overhand lefts. He likes to dip again. Catching Postal. Postal is way too far. Again, I always say, boxing is a game of inches. Not for Postal, who takes a big leap forward, telegraphing his shots. And Taylor, you give him this type of shots. He's a good counter puncher. Boom. Catches him with a nice right. Has Postal stumbling and clinching. And it's not, not a good showing late for Postal catches it again coming in there catches post uh, Taylor with the jab but Taylor's a type of guy I like his moxie he's got moxie let me tell you that right now he catches shots and he's willing to take him to land his own he has that that confidence oh again I mean and this is off a weave so Postal was coming in with this move which he pulled off a couple of times during the fight dipping down to his left over uh, under Taylor's jab trying to catch him with an uppercut this time Taylor, good reflexes, little step back, right hook, which which uh, Postal weaves. Taylor just slightly repositions himself, himself, ducks down a little bit to get some moment, I mean some power on that left hand, and just swings for the fences and catches Postal. Boom! Look, see that? Those are the type of shots that really hurt because he's shaking his whole brain right there. See that? See Postal's reaction there. So, so his eyes. See how his eyes are sort of gone for a sl split millisecond he was not there he was in la la land for a split second there but that's a credit to postal's conditioning and his heart and a pretty good chin takes that shot look at that jeez that's what i'm saying progress is go progress is gonna have to stay composed because taylor is able to do what you just saw there in the midst of action think step back counter Misses, misses with a combination, but hey, he shot a combination. Weaves, defensively responsible, left hand up, blocking the right hand, incoming, and then just shoots a boom. And this is, by the way, he's, look at this, he's in the southpaw position, look at his feet. He actually switches while he's going back. Shifting while he's going back, boom, and catches him with, what is this now, left foot. From an orthodox position, from which he switched, coming back. I mean, this Taylor... He is quality, let me tell you that much. He is quality. And by the way, last clip. Cameron with a jab. Nice little corkscrew jab right there. That's what Taylor brings to the table. He's a quick counter puncher, and it would behoove for Gray to not admire his work. Uh, fuck it. Flanagan and Kerr Relic were catching him with some shots, but they're not big punchers. Taylor is. Taylor is. So he's going to have to. Be defensively responsible in that one, Progress. And Taylor, too. But we're going to take a look at that in another video. Take a look at some of Taylor's weaknesses and some of the things that uh, Progress can exploit. But anyway, in the meantime, guys, tell us what you got right, tell us what you got wrong. Don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe to BDA, our main channel where we hold our live podcast. And we'll see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. You walked in here to threaten me. Fucking right, I walked in here to threaten you. You're behaving like a mama, Luke. Fish. You walk in here, you don't show the club no respect. You're acting like a real scumbag. Yeah,